Welcome back or welcome if you are new here. My name's Josie, welcome to my channel. Today we are at Chiang Mai's Chiang Pek Market and we are in search for the famous cowboy hat lady for some beautiful pork. She serves cow camu, also known as braised pork leg over some rice. So it's stewed in this cauldron of spices, chopped up, ready to order, served with a fresh egg on the side. Can we find her? Let's find out. So this market is just outside sort of the north gate, just outside of the old city also. It's got everything that you sort of need. It's open every night, but I think like during Saturday and Sunday nights, there's also the Saturday and Sunday market. So it's not as busy. I think they're all there with their stalls and everything. There is a whole line of grab and food panda drivers there at that restaurant, just waiting to pick up the food to take to everyone. So you know that it's really popular and must be really good. I think they serve sukuyaki. Is that it? Or suku, sukuyaki? Tell me how to say it in the comments below, but that's what they were serving that I saw on the main thing on the menu. So that looked pretty good. We might have to come back and try there, but as for now, we're still on this hunt for this cowboy lady. Will we find her? Before we find her or eat any food, I just wanted to have a quick second to ask you if you could please hit that subscribe button. It really helps me with the YouTube algorithm, YouTube, YouTube algorithm, and it tells them that you like seeing my content and it helps me to make more. So hit that subscribe button for me, like this video, and let's go eat some food. Twenty? No, no. No. Cow rice, huh? Uh, Twenty? Yeah, I have one. Five, five, ten. No. Oh. Yeah, chai, huh? Pork? Hmm? Pork? Is it what? Pork? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Oh, I need no egg. Uh, how right? Six bucks. Okay, what? Need nine. Need nine. <laughs> so we're really hungry. So we stopped at one of the stalls and we got a sausage. I don't really like sausages normally, but this one looked really good. So she fried it up for us. She put some like lettuce and like I think some like shaved almonds or something, I don't know, some kind of nuts that was 20 baht and then we went and we got this uh, fried spring roll, I think. I'm not sure if it's vegetarian or what, but it's a spring roll. So we're gonna try this, then we're gonna head on and keep trying to find the cowboy hat lady. But let's try this one first. So this is a spring roll. Oh wait. There's a rod inside. Hold on. There's a stick. I bit it. Okay, let's get rid of the stick on the inside. Ow, I did. <laughs> mm. Sweet and sour sauce was a good idea. Sweet chili, I think. Not as thick as the other one, but definitely delicious. So this is, I'm pretty sure, a pork sausage. I don't think I asked. <laughs> I think it was 20 bucks, so it's a really good, easy snack on the go. Don't really normally have sausages, so let's see if I like it. Almost got the stick again. <laughs> okay. So it's got that like homemade food taste. Do you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. it's, you can tell it's kind of packed, made and like packed by hand, like homemade. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's actually nice. It doesn't taste like like processed or anything like that. What's on the inside? So the inside is very soft and sort of fluffy. It's not like straight meat. It's like full of things. I don't know. It's not bad. This is the Northgate Market, but I've actually done a video on the Southgate Market, which is on the other side of the moat. So I'm gonna link that below and on the screen as well. So go check that one out as well. Make sure you look at that video. We're still in the hunt for her, but I do think I see them down here. So, okay, I think we found it. Ah, oh, I see it. Here it is. There's a bunch of pork in this big 
pan? What is it? So there's a lot of pork in this big like um, pan, I guess, and they chop it up as to order. There's a uh, three or four or five different menu items, all full of pork. Obviously, there's pork intestines also. I'm not brave enough to try that just yet. I'll try the braised pork leg, which I also haven't tried before either. But they have it chopped up on here. Thank you. Ka. So they have all of this pork leg in this big pan and they're like working as a team to like chop the pork, put it in the plate, put an egg on it, put some rice on it and then get it out to the restaurant back here. But here is the pork. So I have the famous cow camo. Is that right? I'm learning, tell me if I'm wrong. <laughs> and it's the braised pork leg and it just comes with the rice and that egg. And then Michael has the pork knuckle. So you didn't get an egg, I have an egg. <laughs> So he's got a lot of pork skin and I have the sort of pork that looks like pulled pork. Looks really nice. Okay, so I've never had this in my life. <laughs> I've had pulled pork at home, but I haven't had like pork leg or anything like that. All right, my first taste of one of the most famous dishes in Chiang Mai. No rice, just only pork. Or pure pork. Pure pork. Okay, it's good. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Okay, it is it is like pulled pork. It tastes like pulled pork, but like better? Like it I don't know. The sauce, obviously it's in like some kind of gravy or something. And like you can taste that. It's like marinated in there and you can taste it. This is really good. Alright, let's grab some rice. I love rice. Okay. That is a lot better than I expected, I'm not gonna lie. I came here tonight with a little bit of worries because I'm trying something new and something I normally wouldn't try before. And sometimes that's hard for me to do with food, branch out of the things that I'm normal, like I'm, I normally eat, like chicken. <laughs> so this is something I wouldn't normally go for, but I'm actually really glad that I did. This is really good, like really good. You can see why there's a line. <laughs> Out the front of the store. Okay, I'm not just I'm not just I'm not just, I'm not acting here. Trust me, this is actually good. You're not gonna believe me, but this is good. Now you can't forget this egg. So this perfectly cooked egg that's on the side of it as well. All right, egg. Here we go. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Do you want to try some one? No. <laughs> mm -mm -mm -mm. So it looks like there's pieces of meat. Some muscle, some bone there, the knuckle, and then some skin there as well. We'll try this piece of meat first before you try the skin. But the skin, I think, is going to be the good part. It's super flavorful. It tastes a little bit like that one, but to be honest, probably got more flavor than your one that you had because it's sitting in this like this broth. In Australia, it'd be weird for us to have the skin like this because we normally do eat pig skin or pork skin or we eat it like crackly like crackling pork skin like you would get on top of like a pork belly or something this is pork skin but it's like soft so this is pretty out of the ordinary for what we would eat you don't even have to chew that you don't even have to push your mouth together i just immediately fell apart that is incredible. That is so good. So unfortunately, the cowboy hat lady does look like she's retired. She's been dominating the street food pork space for ages. She was made semi, I guess, famous by Anthony Bourdain, if you know who that is. That's basically Michael's hero, just so you know. If Michael could sit down and have dinner with anyone, I think he'd be one of those people that, you know, living past or present. So she's been, I guess, retired now. She does have someone there though. She's been there sort of every night. So. Not the same lady. She was really smart though to wear a cowboy hat because she kind of then distinctive, she's distinctive from everyone else, if that makes sense. But now she doesn't, now she's not there, <laughs> but she has that other lady there. Not the same lady and she doesn't wear a cowboy hat, but the food is just as good. So I would definitely recommend that if you're in anywhere near Chiang Mai, that was delicious. Did you like your skin? That was incredible. That was honestly one of the best dishes that, best street food dishes I've had in, in, in Chiang Mai so far. And we've had a lot, as you know, if you watch this channel regularly. Um, maybe we should say hello to the new people. Oh, hi everyone who's new. There should be a lot of new people. So, hello, I'm Michael, that's Josie. Hi, if you're new here. She owns well. the channel, I hold the camera. <laughs> <laughs> so it is in the middle or coming into rainy season at the moment. So the rain is a little bit unpredictable in Thailand, but it is starting to rain right now. So let's see if we can grab something. 
and then we can head off. Oh, it's starting to rain. Maybe not. We'll see. Let's see if we can grab something quickly. All right, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you come and try the Cowboy Hat Ladies pork. It was really good. If you liked this video, I know you're going to like the video that I did at the Southgate Market. So I'm going to leave that on the screen. Click that one now. Go watch that one for me. Make sure you like and subscribe before you leave. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.